What's up everybody, I'm Doug with Bread and Butter Pickleball Company and today we're here to talk about thermoform paddles versus traditional sandwich style paddles, specifically our Filth, which is our brand new paddle. She's thermoformed. Let's do this. So here's the roadmap to keep this super easy for you guys so you know where we're going with everything. Number one today, we're gonna to talk and give a brief description of thermoforming. Number two, we're gonna to talk to you about why we decided to do a thermoform paddle. Number three, we're gonna to talk to you about why we named it the filth. Number four, we're gonna talk about what makes thermoforming awesome. Number five, which also ties back into number three. And number five, we're gonna talk about our paddles and whether or not they have a delamination or debonding issue. Everyone wants to know about that. Number six, what is our warranty like on the filth? And number seven, how you can save some cash on the filth. Let's just get right into it. Number one, a brief description of thermoforming. The best way to explain what thermoforming is versus non-thermoform paddles like this sandwich paddle that I have here is probably to start with this sandwich paddle and then we'll get into how this is a little bit different. Modern pickleball paddles have been using this technology for quite a while and it's pretty simple. It doesn't matter if the face is fiberglass or carbon fiber, it's still the same. There's a top layer of whatever material you're using, that face, and there's another face, and sandwiched in between is polypropylene honeycomb core. If I was to rip this edge guard all the way off this paddle, you would see, you know what? I should rip this edge guard off of this paddle. Yeah. This should be fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and start real quick by taking off this wrap tape. And there you go. Now we gotta get this edge guard off. I'm try to do this without cutting my dang fingers. Oh, I get these pliers. What kind of tomfoolery is going on here? Oh boy. <clears throat> Jeez. I don't know if I need to work out or. Yeah, bro! Call quality control and tell them they're doing a hell of a job. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which way I should go. Quality of glue on this thing. Is, oh my gosh. I feel like if I get it going, it'll come. That's what she said. Seriously, if anybody tells us that our edge guards are not coming off or come off, I'm sending in this video. Yes, I finally, you son of a, that's good enough. I got enough to show you, I can show you. If you look at this paddle, this is the edge guard removed. And you can see all along this edge is exposed polypropylene core, right? So you got your T700 carbon fiber face, T700 carbon fiber face. That's why we call it a sandwich paddle is it is sandwiching an exposed polypropylene core on the edge. Here's the problem with this paddle. They break at the handle. And while the handles can break, it doesn't happen very often. It takes a whole lot of force to break them. However, thermoforming is a little bit different. Let me take this one apart. Here we go again. Oh my God. Start a YouTube channel, they said. We don't have time for this. We gotta get to the actual technology of this thing. Yes. Ow, carbon fiber, I'm gonna carbon fiber on my finger. All right, well now I can show you what thermoforming is. If you could see this paddle all along the edge, doesn't have that exposed polypropylene. You can see it here, right? You see that? Check out this one. On the edge, there's carbon fiber that wraps around the entire edge. 360 degrees. You probably want to see the handle too, don't you? 
Okay. This paddle is also foam wall injected. And some people ask, does the foam go all the way down through the handle? And the answer is yes. Can you see that right here? We got foam all the way through the handle. So now that we've got that taken care of and we've got a cold press paddle that we've already broken, rest in peace buddy, versus this hot press thermoform paddle, let's talk about how this all comes together. It's really down to a weld, a weld between carbon fiber. You've got a top layer and you've got a bottom layer and then you've got an edge that comes along. This paddle gets laid up into a mold and once it's laid up into a mold, there is heat and pressure that create a weld between all of the pieces so that this side piece and the top and the bottom and the entire perimeter, not just the side piece, the whole perimeter, all gets pressed into one paddle. That makes this paddle virtually unbreakable. Just for fun, I'm gonna attempt to break this over my knee. Go check out Farmer Lanky. He tried to do it and the dude's walking around bruises. What's up, farming family? How y'all doing? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. You can't break this thing over your knee. So I told you I was gonna keep this short and a brief description of what thermoforming is. And I feel like I've kind of done that. Next, we're gonna talk about why we decided to do a thermoform paddle in the first place. And it really all comes down to this. We just really liked it. We played with them. We liked them. Our customers were asking us about them. We had so many emails of people asking, saying, hey, can you guys do a thermoform paddle? And we were like, why the hell not? Let's do it. I'd love to give you some amazing story of how we came across thermoforming technology and how we brought in all these engineers to help us change the world of pickleball paddles. The fact is, this isn't some brand new technology. This has been used on mountain bikes and other sporting goods for quite a long time. We like it, we have access to it, let's make it. Which leads me into number three is how did we come up with the name The Filth? The way that we came up with this name is pretty simple. I believe I was drinking a couple beers on a Saturday afternoon watching Christian Alshon play in one of his first PPA events, and I believe he hit a tweener. Big surprise. And when he did, the announcer said something along the lines of, That's just filthy. And at that moment, I knew that we were going to name the paddle The Filth. So hey, shout out to Christian Alshon. Keep hitting those tweeners, buddy. And on to number four, let's talk about what makes thermoforming awesome. Going back to the hot molding and pressing of carbon fiber to create one shape, it does a lot of things for the paddle. It creates stability and rigidity, and in turn, gives you just uh, a better playability. You end up with an increased sweet spot, you end up with more power, and an overall just better playing paddle. I'm trying to think of a good analogy to explain why thermoforming makes the paddle feel so much better. I guess the best way to explain it is, when you start to build walls on a house, before you put the trusses and the roof lines on, the walls can like kind of move and sway back and forth. But the second you add those trusses, everything firms up and gets solid. And I guess that's how I look at a thermoform paddle. When you have a regular sandwich paddle, everything's kind of moving around a little bit because this polypropylene is not perfectly rigid. It does give and move. Whereas with a thermoform paddle, by having the edge fused and welded in one piece, you don't have that movement back and forth. The paddle's just secure and it's nice and steady. Is steady the right word? But you just get a better feel, more power, and everything just feels shored up and great. If you haven't tried one before, we think you should try one out. Even if it's not ours, try someone else's. But please don't forget the filth. It's a nasty little paddle. If you've made it this far in the video, you, my friend, are a true champion. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap number five and six into one segment. Five was do we have delamination debonding issues? And six is what is our warranty? Let's flip them. Let's start with six. If you're super bored and you wanna read our entire warranty, go to bnbpickleball.com and you'll see our warranty. Click that link and you can read all about it. Basically, we have a six month warranty on all our paddles. That means that we guarantee the workmanship and the manufacturing of these paddles. If an edge guard comes off, if the paddle breaks, we'll replace it for free. Oh, and I should mention, we also have a 30 day love it or return it policy. That means if you love the paddle, keep it. And if you don't, don't, and you can send it back. So in closing, when it comes to our warranty, we're here actively working on this project and it's one that we care a lot about. If you have problems with your paddle, you can rest assured you're gonna be taken care of in a timely manner. Now let's talk about number six, delamination and debonding. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time talking about this today. And the main reason is 
Well, we've only got about 30 or 40 of these out on the streets right now, and so far, I am happy to say that we have had one delamination, and that delaminated paddle has not come back to our facility yet for us to inspect. Now, as many of you know, the conversation about delamination has been going on for several months, and now the conversation has turned to debonding. There's also some information that we've recently gathered that is helping us learn more about the issue, and we're hoping to have some clarity on it coming really soon. But to be clear, we haven't actually had the problem because we haven't shipped most of our paddles out yet. I'm also not gonna sit here and tell you that Bread and Butter Pickleball Company is impenetrable to the delamination and debonding problem. But what I will tell you is we are here actively working on this project and we are gonna handle everyone that has an issue in a timely manner. Anyway, that wraps up the warranty, delaminating and debonding issues. Let's move on to the last topic of the day and how you can save some money on a pill or any other paddle that we sell. And now for the moment that you've all been waiting for. If you'd like to save some money on your next purchase from BreadandButterPickleball.com, we'd like to save you 5% off your next order. Make that 10%. Okay, okay, how about 15? How's that? Better? If you want to save 15%, just use the code STEPBROTHERS and you can save 15% at checkout. And if you're wondering why we're using that code, Richard and I are not just co-founders. We're stepbrothers. Oh, and one more thing. In each one of these videos that we put up, we're leaving a little hidden gem somewhere in the video. Something weird. Maybe it's a little hidden text. Maybe it's something that doesn't quite match up in the video. Just look around. If you find one of these weird little gems, leave a comment below. The first person that finds it gets a free paddle. Oh, and I should mention, we didn't make this announcement in our first video, but there is a hidden little gem in there. Maybe you can find a hidden gem in that one. Just leave a comment on that video, and if we see it pop up and you're the first person, free paddle coming at you. Thanks guys, we appreciate everything, and as always, like, subscribe, give us a follow, and leave us some comments. We appreciate you being part of the Bread and Butter crew, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.